Should we make this camper awesome? Yeah. Do you think it needs a microwave? Yes! <laughs> Do you think it needs a fridge? And some food! Some food? And some milk! Milk, huh? Hey, what's up everyone? It's Kendall from Bucket List Revival. Today we're gonna jump back in on that 1967 Forester and uh, replace the flooring. Last, last time we ripped it out and got all the way down to the floor and then kind of jacked it up. Today we're gonna, I bought some new floorboards, painted the bottom of them. We're gonna get them in there and uh, replace that flooring and start, start rebuilding this thing finally. So here we go. All right, first things first, uh, looks like I still have those two by threes supporting up the shell and uh, I've got them going straight to the ground which I didn't really think about how I would put the flooring in with those going straight to the ground but it's not really gonna work like this so um, I'm gonna need to come up with a way to jack up that um, shell but while I'm putting the flooring in so I can't do it this way I'm gonna come up with another one let's see what I can do all right, I think I came up with a plan. I'm gonna measure across the top and cut a two by three that'll go from edge to edge on that side rail um, framing. And then I'm gonna get my floor jack down here on the solid floor and uh, with a two by three going up to my two by three that's going across, I'll be able to jack up the shell um, to the level that I want and then once I get it where I want I'll be able to cut two by threes and put them on the sides to hold it up but I'm not really sure how high I want it yet so I'm going to use that jack to get it in the perfect position here we go let's do this eighty four and a half all right moment of truth see if this Theory works. I might cut another one at 84 and a half and uh, get two pieces of wood up there so I don't so I don't break that watch the floor as I release this though I bet it's gonna drop a little bit all right I'm gonna tape these two together see what we can come up with here. I had put these braces in last week and they had picked it up like three or four inches. Look at how much gap there is now. These were touching up here. And now they're like way down here. That's crazy. So yeah, this really needed to happen. That floor was just, I mean that metal was holding this whole thing up. And uh, right now, 
this jack setup that I've got is actually doing the work for me. So um, now, so I can get this jack out of here, I'm going to cut some 2x3s to go from the top here all the way down to probably here on the floor since this floor is solid. So it'll go right there, boom, to boom. Yep, let's do it now. My contraption actually worked. Uh, picked up that camper shell quite a bit. Super exciting. Now I've exposed the area that I can actually work on and uh, start in installing that flooring, which is sweet. Um, that took quite a bit of little of thinking for me, but uh, I got through it and here it is. So the back of that camper looks so much better. I picked it up like eight inches and it really needed that. Finally got it to where it needs to be. Now you can actually see that metal frame rail in the back across the bottom so it's nice and straight before you could not see that so i went ahead and picked up some new floorboards for the camper i'm going to go ahead and apply some paint that i picked up um, put this stuff on there just hoping that uh it can kind of keep it a little bit more sealed from the water on the underneath side if anything were to flip up um, just to hopefully preserve the floor so it doesn't rot as easily. So here we go. Let's get some paint. All right, everyone, um, I actually went to Menards, picked up some paint, and I'm going to paint the uh, frame that I exposed underneath the old floorboards just so that that metal doesn't rust underneath the new wood. So here we go. need to go through check make sure that I got all the nails and stuff up where I'm going to be putting that new floorboard and then I can start measuring <laughs> I've got a, a bunch of old screws that are like rusted in there and I can't get them out um, without pulling them. So I'm gonna go get my grinder, just cut the tops of them off, try and pick them up with a magnet and get them.
help, buddy. All right, now I'm measuring this floorboard. What are you doing with this? This is going to be the floor of the camper. I'm putting in new wood. Hmm. hmm. What camper? This one. Is it big enough? I'm going to have to cut this. But we have a couple of, of pieces of these. So I just cut the floorboard in the back, um, getting ready to put it in. Um, pretty awesome. It's gonna look off. It's gonna look great. I'd already painted the bottom, so I'm gonna. I measured it, put it out there. Oh hi, buddy. Hi, hi. Mister. You want? Is that new floor going to go right here? Yeah, the new floor is gonna go right there. Careful, there's a lot of little pieces, so we gotta be super careful in there. What do you think of the camper with no floor? Awesome painted. Awesome painted? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Hey, Kyron, what do you think those boards are? Those, those new pieces of wood, what do you think they're doing? There's a board right there? Yeah, that. Don't, don't wiggle it. What do you think that's doing? Mm. You don't know? It's holding up that roof. Is that cool or what? Yeah, because there's nothing else holding it up except for the sides. Yep, that's right. Because a lot of that wood rotted, huh? So we had to rip it out. So Daddy's going to put in new wood. But right now I built that little frame right there to hold it up so I can put new flooring in. Cool, right? Yeah. Should we make it happen? Yeah. All right. All right, so I laid down that floorboard, but then when I went to step on it, it was a little bit flimsy. So there's a spot in the floor right there that I'm actually gonna um, put a little more framing, just a two by three um, that'll go across. That'll give it a little bit more support. Um, yeah, let's do that now. Floor stabilized right there. I love you, Emerson. This, this clown can, Kaya. Wow, did you find that outside? No, I found it in your in your chair. You did? Yes, it was by a batteries. Oh, do you like this camper, Emerson? Is it nice? Be real careful. There's a lot of pieces and stuff. Where are we going to put your bed? Where is it? Oh, that's one of Daddy's tools. Thank you. Is it so nice? Let's put my bed right here. Right there? Okay. That sounds great. And Mommy and Daddy's bed can be over there? Yeah. Okay. And where's Kyron's bed going to be? Should he be above mommy and daddy? Like a bunk bed? No. No? He can be right here. On the floor? Okay. Like me going to sit by him. Yes. That sounds great. That sounds so good. Do you love this camper? Yes. It's going to be nice when we're all finished with it, huh? Yes. Are you... Jumping in the mud puddles out there with your boots. Woohoo! Pretty fun. Should we make this camper awesome? Yes. Do you think it needs a microwave? Yeah!
<laughs> Do you think it needs a fridge? And some food. Some food? And some milk. Milk, huh? And some water. Yeah, that's the important stuff, huh? Milk and, and water. Some water bottles. Water bottles? Oh, yeah. What about a TV? Yes. Kyron really wanted a TV. Would you like that too? We we have tissues and a watch phone. We just need our beds. Yep. And the fridge. Mm-hmm. And the microwave. Mm-hmm. And all those things. We need to fix this floor so we don't fall through, huh? No. That's what I'm working on right now. Say, Daddy, get to work. Get to work. Get to work. All right, Em. Give me a high five. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Woohoo! Is that a pretty comfy seat? You gonna watch Daddy work? All right. Can you tell me what to do, okay? So the whole camper has kind of shifted and I want to make sure that I get the flooring piece on centered. So I'm going to have to shift Mommy. the whole um, shell a little bit and then stand on the floorboard to get it perfectly centered. So here we go. <laughs> are so that when I'm doing the framing I can put that two by three straight above the metal so it'll be strongest. I had to cut that one twice because uh, I cut it too long but I always say better to cut it too long and have to cut twice than cut it too short and have to start over. jacked jacked it up with the jack again 
and remove these two side beams, cut them three and three eighths inch um, so that now I can put them onto the new flooring um, rather than on the lower old flooring that I had. So I'm gonna put these in real quick. Looking pretty dang good. And the whole camper. There we go. Looks awesome. Look at this mess from flooring all day. Pretty bad. Time to clean it up. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in to Bucket List Revival. Um, we got that flooring in on that 1967 Forester. Couldn't be happier with how it turned out. So be sure to subscribe um, to the channel and let me know what you think of the video down in the comments. Thanks.